Okay, guys, uh, welcome to another uh, quickie review. Uh, today we're going to be uh, reviewing a pair of these uh, Walther's Mainline 60 foot high cube plate F box cars. Uh, we have uh, this one here uh, decorated for TTX rail box. It's still, uh, that's this car still in the package. And over here, uh, sitting on the track, we have a, a Canadian Pacific Railway uh, version. Uh, both of these cars are essentially the same car. It's just uh, they wear different. Uh, it's just pretty much only the paint schemes are different. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get started with the review. And I'll set this one down where I don't accidentally knock it off the track. And we'll uh, start at this end right here, and we'll kind of work our way around here. Uh, so, a lot of nice uh, detailing. This is a mid-range car. Uh, it kind of splits the difference between the train line and the Walther's Proto. Uh, so, it kind of makes a mid-range car, but very affordable, very budget-friendly car. Uh, and, not, and it doesn't have a ton of details that you have to worry about breaking off. Um, so yeah, but, uh, anyway, uh, while we're at it, we'll take, I'll put this car back because I need to show the box. Uh, they come packaged in these nice boxes here, uh, with the clamshell packaging inside, uh, with a little, uh, uh, plastic cover and a little, uh, I call it slick paper, uh, to protect the model from being scratched and, um, uh, protect the paint and decaling while it's in ship uh, shipment and transport and it should uh, protect the model well uh walters always does nice with their packaging so uh so the, you know these these uh boxes should hold up well and protect these models real nicely so but anyway let's uh get back to reviewing the car very nicely done uh you have uh, your ladders here uh, we have a platform, uh, which uh, I thought might have been uh, uh, etched metal, but upon further review, it's actually not. It's actually a plastic uh, molded on piece part of the car, but it looks really, really good. Um, looks really nice. Uh, and, of course, you have the decaling right up here. It looks really good where it says excess height car. And then, of course, you have the CP initials and the road number. And we'll come down the side of this car. Lots of nice decaling. And also, uh, forgot to mention, uh, all Walther's cars come from the factory equipped with the uh, Proto Max couplers or in-house brand of couplers. So there's that. Like I said, uh, so I just wanted to mention that. Come down the side of this car. A lot of nice decaling. Uh, it's all readable. Uh although it may not look it, but yeah, there it goes. There my phone focuses and it's all readable. Uh, nice reflective stripes right here. Uh, these are different than what you would see on most freight cars. Uh, CP rail tends to use these uh, red and white reflector stripes on their cars. Uh, so it does kind of differ a bit from the yellow, uh, uh, reflector stripes that you see on most other cars. So, uh, it kind of makes it stand out. I, I kind of like I kind of like the looks of these cars. So uh, for that reason, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, and we'll come down here to the door again. And these are cool. Um, these little bars here, I believe, are molded in details, but they're actually they actually uh, are three D. Uh, they're not what you'd say totally molded into the body. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna try. And get a pretty good shot. Yeah, you can see it right there. Uh, those are actually 3D bars. Um, that's really, really nicely done. Um, that looks really good. It really adds a lot of depth to these cars. Uh, especially, especially the door. It adds a lot of depth, a lot of depth and a lot of detail. So it's really, really nice. Um, so, anyway, we'll go ahead and work our way down the side of this car. 
And of course, you have the uh, my phone will focus. You have the CP Rail logo. You have the Beaver logo right there. Of course, Canadian Pacific Railway. Uh, the initial CP and the road number. And like I said, all the details, or I mean, all the uh, printing is readable. Very nicely done. Of course, you have the plate F decal right there. A lot of really nice decaling on this car. Uh, something you really don't often see on a budget model. And then we'll come around here to this end. Of course, we got another got the uh, platform there. I uh, got a brake wheel. And I apologize for my reckless camera work, but uh, I'm kind of working with what I have right now. But you see the brake wheel. Uh, you see the little chain that runs down there. Uh, I'm going to try and turn this light on where you can get a better look at it. And, yeah, uh, you can see all the really nice details right there. Uh, I'm going to try and get my finger right there. But you can see the brake wheel, the little chain that runs down, platform, these ladders, even though they're not metal, but they still look really, really nice. Um, so, yeah, looks really cool. And, uh... Of course, there's a better look at the couplers. In fact, while we're at, let's check the height of the couplers on these. While we're at it. So I'm going to put our coupler height gauge there, and we're going to check it. Uh, and I'm going to try to get my phone to focus. Uh, looks like these couplers might be just a bit low. Uh, they might be bent down. They're not bad, but... Well, they might be just a hair bit low on that end. Of course, we'll uh, turn it around. And yeah, we're low on that end too, but I'm going to change these couplers to KD-158s. Uh, that should take care of a lot of the problems there. Uh, these couplers may just be bent down just a little bit, so... Um, We'll put, uh, we'll put KDs on and see where we go from there. But uh, I just want to check the coupler heights on that car and see how it does. So we'll come over to the top of the car. Get a good look at the uh, roof detail. And this is actually uh, something cool. I'm going to turn the car over on its side a little bit and let you get a look at the uh, the details underneath this car. Um you can actually see some brake piping under there. Uh, a lot of nice brake details under this car. Uh, looks really, really good. You can see some of the piping that runs down there. Uh, the brake details are real nice and crisp. Looks really, really nice. Uh, so overall, this is a really, really nice car. Um, I think uh, these cars retail at Waller's... Uh, I believe uh, in the mid to kind of upper $30 range, uh, somewhere between $35 and $40, bucks, I would say, is where these cars retail. I need to get my uh, book out and look at that again, but uh, I believe that's where these cars are at. Uh, I actually picked these up at Train, Will Train World for quite a bit less than that. Uh, this car here was about $25, and the TTX car was at $21. Uh, $20.99 if you want to be real exact, and $24.99 for this car. Uh, so we'll just be 100% exact. But, uh, not sure why the, discrim uh, the, the discrepancy in the price of those two cars uh, could be a paint scheme thing, could be a, you know, a license thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. But anyway, uh, still very, very uh, budget-friendly cars. Um and look really good on a layout. I mean, not they'd be great additions to a club layout. Uh, before I forget to mention, of course, we have the uh, nicely done trucks. And I believe, uh, upon further inspection, I thought these might have been 36 inch wheels, but they appear to be 33 inch wheels. So, yeah. Yeah, I believe those are 33 inches. Uh, I thought if, when I first took these cars out, they might have been 36 inch wheels, but I believe they're 33s. So, but still very nicely done. Nice metal wheels. Um, just
just overall a really really nice looking car and I'll turn this light off here where it's not blinding everybody and everybody can get kind of a better look but uh, yeah and uh, in fact why don't I take the TTX car and let you guys get a quick gander at it okay just real quick there they are together the TTX and the CP rail cars like I said these should make real fine additions to your fleet uh, very budget friendly and uh, yeah, they should should be real nice cars. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this for you. Uh, we got a lot more to get to uh, coming up. We got the uh, Scale Trains Rivet Counter ES44 a, uh, AC decorated for BNSF. Of course, that makes it a ES44 C4. Uh, we're gonna do some kind of fun with that locomotive. We're gonna compare it to the uh, Atherton Genesis model and see where the see how the two stack up. Um, so you might want to stay tuned for that. Also, we got the uh, Rapido B36-7 in the Santa Fe colors. We got that engine to look at. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of really cool stuff coming. So uh, with that being said, we'll uh, call this review good, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, all.